If you're going to make fun of Hanson, know your facts, know your history. And don't get all pissy with me and get mad at me and tell me, Oh, no, no, no. We don't need the fucking history. Sh no, seriously, we don't need the history. Seriously, I'm not reading that. Because that's just fucking rude. You need to know the history. You do not fucking think just because there's only three brothers that are in the band that are famous doesn't mean that they're the only ones in the family. There's other siblings in the family. They have seven total. They got Mac, Mackenzie. They got Zoe, Jessica, and Avery. So that's... F 
Yeah, three girls, four boys, yeah. I know. I know, I don't listen to what murder party, trivia murder party says on Jackbox when it says I'm bad at math. I know math. Anyways, it's seven. And so I told them on Twitch that it's seven. And then this one guy is like, oh, so, so the other four is not in the band because they suck at singing. And I'm like, I don't have time to give you the history right now. I'm playing Jackbox, joke boat. And then I had time, so I started giving him the thing where I said, the youngest one, Mac, he is actually a singer in a band of his own. And yes, he sometimes sings with Hanson. Do your history. And the girls, they don't got time to sing because they're too busy getting married and having a family. So, yeah, get your history straight. Will I ever say Hanson again in Joke Boat? No. Will I say Aaron Carter or Bieber? Yes, because if you make fun of them, I'm not going to get too butthurt about it because Aaron Carter threatened my J-Mac, Jesse McCartney. And uh-uh, not cool. Don't do that because you're jealous that he, from when he, he was little to now, as an adult, he stuck with this singing and didn't quit like you did. And I can say that because I'm a fan of your music, just not a fan of your attitude. Because you're starting to turn into Justin Bieber. Yep, I said it and I don't care if you get mad or get pissy because you hate Bieber and all. But yes, you're acting like Bieber used to act. Grow the fuck up. He did. Anyways, later haters, just in case. Oh my god, the cast of Zoe 101 kind of reunion. With Jamie Lynn Spears making fun of herself as the grandma who loves bacon. I have to document this. Joey and Daniel breaking up and it's so sad. Oh my gosh. And the saddest thing is it's right after Remy's birthday from CTFC charge trippy. 712. On 712, 2000, 2020 is the worst year of my life. First, first, I can't get my hair done. Then the virus happened. Then, now this. It's like, oh my god. It's so sad. But, it is what it is. They have to do what makes them happy. Yes, I am watching Bug Juice, in case you're asking. <clears throat> An ominous person on my Facebook said, I believe America could, I believe America should give Charles Daniels a funeral equal to George 40's. Um, no. Every time a black, a colored person, every time a colored person dies, do we, and, and it was in a wrong way, do we need to have a protest and a funeral for every single one of them? Like, who's paying for these funerals? Obviously, you're not. And if they do it like George Floyd's, someone had to pay for that funeral. So who, so if, if whoever paid for that one pays for all of them, then they're going to go broke and they're not going to get the funeral. And in my opinion, George Floyd, yes, he was killed by wrongdoing, but they should have kept that personal and should have kept that with just in the family and people that actually grew up with him and knew him and not put it all over social media and all over TV when we don't know the guy. We just know he was killed wrongly. So I'm going to say the same thing about Charles Danos who I have no clue who the hell that is and what he died for. What was his wrong doing of dying? Because you know I don't know him. I didn't grow up with him. Yes, it's sad that he's gone now, but I didn't grow up with him, so I don't want to see his funeral. That's for his that's personal family stuff. That should be between him and his friends and his family that grew up with them. Sorry, that's just my opinion. We should not have to have a funeral for every color person that dies wrongly. Because if you're going to do that, then do it for 
white people too who got killed for doing nothing wrong as well.